police chiefs and, and police departments occasionally get themselves in a little bit of trouble by assigning strong adjectives like senseless and tragic to certain murders as if the taking of one life is more egregious than the taking of another life. We do this because our American culture has an expectation that certain people, like children and the elderly, and certain occupations, like police officers and firefighters and teachers and the clergy, and certain institutions, like schools and churches, should somehow be immune from acts of violence. In the last few days, three-year-old Mackenzie Elliott was murdered in Baltimore. Two-year-old Kanijah Bibb was murdered in Prince George's County. And 49-year-old Rajinda Kumar was gunned down right where we stand here in Anne Arundel County at this gas station. We know someone who is watching this right now on TV or reading it online knows who this man is. He's your friend or maybe your relative. Or a member of your family, your close family. You probably recognize him even with his face covered. We need you and anyone who knows this person to come forward. What we want to say is that the suspect that's out there has possibly changed his appearance, possibly changed his actions since the murder on August 7th. We're asking anybody who has anybody that fits this description, the person that might have shaved, might have changed their hairstyle, might have changed their attitude. That killer is residing with his family and friends as we speak, and somebody recognizes something in that person's behavior as it's likely changed since August 7th. They could have left town, they could have gone away for a few days. This is a person we want to hear about. In the meantime, we are in relentless pursuit of this cold-blooded killer, and we won't rest until he's in handcuffs and off our streets for good.